So, do you like traps? Do you like traps with big air of effect and huge damage per trap? Well then this guide, this build, might be the build for you. Now, I'm making this guide up going into uh, Metamorph League to anyone interested in, in this type of build could uh, copy it or may make a, their own variation uh, going into the next league. So. A quick rundown of the items I currently have uh, equipped for this build. Um, I am going with a very high amount of power charge build. Um, and that works very well with Badge of the Brotherhood to gain up to 9 frenzy charges as well. Uh, currently, um, well, the main two wands that I'm using are void batteries. These are actually quite expensive. Um, they can range between two to three exalts each, depending on when you get them in the league and, and everything. Uh, the main thing is that they gain the spell damage per power charge, and I have so many power charges, well, that gives me a ton of damage. So I have two of them, and for the helmet, I just have a rare that gives me as much energy shield, as much life, and whatever resistances that I need um, to cover that. And also, I was able to get an enchantment for Ice Trap Air Effect, which is very good. So, moving on to Bad to the Brotherhood, I primarily have this for your maximum frenzy charges is equal to your maximum power charges. The rest of the effects, I honestly don't really care about too much. Uh, the cooldown recovery for per frenzy charge can be quite nice with flame dash but it isn't a necessity by any means and I did have withering step on uh, my sidearm at one point so the uh, increase effect of elusive per power charge it can be useful but it's it's not a necessity by any means and then for the gloves I have a rare fingers fingerless silk gloves with commandment of winter Commandment of Winter is by far, in my opinion anyway, the best enchantment to have with this build. In Path of Building, uh, according to everything, it says that I can get up to 200,000 uh, damage from Commandment of Winter alone. And that extra damage, why not? And it can also, of course, freeze and chill enemies, which can be used as like a pretty good uh, defensive. Uh, ability. So I also have dexterity on here and then whatever resist and life that I could acquire. Um, the crystal belt that I'm wearing also basically just resists um, energy shield and then life. Uh, if I was able to, uh, it looks like there is a prefix open possibly um, to add plus to maximum in energy shield on there. And then boots. If I was able to, the best enchantment I would get is 70% increased mana regen when hit, because even with the massive mana regen that I have, it isn't enough for how m fast I throw traps, with, especially with a high amount of frenzy charges. But currently I have increased critical strike chance if you haven't crit recently. That makes it so that I have extra crit chance um, against bosses, if they're in a phase, if I haven't um, actually hit anything uh, recently, that makes it so that pretty much all my traps are guaranteed to crit. And I'm using a Restless Ward uh, body armor. This is primarily, you, you can use pretty much any body armor that you would like. Uh, and it would work. I primarily use this because of the increased endurance charge, frenzy charge, and power charge duration. Well, not so much the power charges, but frenzy charges, I found that without this, I would 
easily run out of them because they only last 10 seconds uh, without it and they easily expire on me. Uh, that might be because I don't do maps fast enough, uh, <laughs> but either way, that, that's just a slice of uh, quality of life armor that I have, so use whatever um, body armor works for you. And then the rings basically just resist uh, life and dexterity if you still need more. And then same thing with the other ring. So, with the equipment out of the way, um, well, I also have uh, mana and mana regen on my sidearms, and I do have Brine Rot Flag to use with Enduring Cry. Uh, I'm using different rings that I had before, so I uh, don't have Enduring Cry set up. Uh, and then here's Withering Step um, to gain Endurance Charges, and since it lasts 20 seconds, doing Enduring Cry every 20 seconds, it, it does work quite well. But anyway, so for the main thing, Ice Trap. I was able to get a level 21, 23% quality Ice Trap for uh, like 40 Chaos at the very beginning of the league. Very, pretty cheap compared to pretty much any other level 21, 23% uh, main skill <laughs> these days. Um, I am currently using Advanced Trap support, Power Charge on Critical support, uh, Charge Trap support, which is going to be basically the bread and butter of this build is using charge trap support. Uh, Swift Assembly allows me to basically get a chance of throwing out multiple traps without reducing the damage per trap that multiple traps or cluster trap would use. And then I have trap and mine damage support. And also Swift Assembly has that increased uh, trap throwing speed to basically cancel out the debuff of trap and mine damage support. I was using uh, cold damage support, uh, added cold damage on here, but personally with the advanced trap support I found it to be more comfortable uh, w without the advanced trap support. I didn't really think that my trap throwing speed was fast enough to really get frenzy charges going, but with advanced trap support I found it to be a lot more comfortable getting those frenzy charges as quickly as possible. Uh, and also it makes it so it's easier to get them uh, in those clutch moments so you so you don't lose all nine of them uh, when the duration is about to expire. So with side stuff, I have Vortex as my defensive skill with Arcane Surge and then uh, e Ephesy support. Um, just to have a defensive air of effect around me, this works very well against enemies that, that rush towards you, and it gives you arcane surge instantly if you have it leveled to the right amount. Uh, I have frost bomb, curse on hit, frostbite, and assassin's mark for the curses. This makes it so that I don't need to worry about casting curses, and frost bomb has that. Uh, exposure so then just by doing frost bomb alone I get all of that in one package which is very nice I have storm blast mine on my other one charge mine support because once I get my frenzy charges I throw mines ridiculously fast and swift assembly to throw out multiple mines at once so I can get maximum mines pretty quickly with that setup and mines are really good against bosses because it applies 3% uh, increased damage per mine so up to 45% without any investment in mines. So for the auras I have Discipline, Summon Skitterbots, Enlighten, and Herald Device. Originally I was going to use Zealotry instead of Summon uh, Skitterbots but Ironically enough, Summon Skidbots actually increases my damage more than that, um, primarily because they can shock enemies by just being near them, and that extra shock will give me enough damage to probably be more than Zealotry. And also it has reduced mana reserve, and as you can see here I don't have a huge amount of mana as it is, and that is with a level 3 Enlighten. So, that is that. And then I have Precision, level 1 just for the added crit chance, 
basically for free, so why not? Summon Ice Golem for the extra crit chance. Uh, Flame Dash for movement. And then Symphony Trap is really good for Blights or bosses in particular just to gain my mana back faster. Uh, li like I said, even with the amount of mana regen that I get, uh, Symphony Trap makes it so that I can basically throw traps infinitely if, if I am able to. So on my sidearm, I just I had Bear Trap on here, but honestly, I never remember to use it. Um, if you remember to use it, it does increase the damage of your ice traps. Uh, so you can use it against bosses if you remember to use it. And then Enduring Cry, and then I was using Increased Air of Effect. Um, currently I was leveling Infused Channeling, so that's why that was on there. And then Withering Step, just to increase my movement speed. Uh, if I didn't want to use Flame Dash. Um, in Blights, I decided to use uh, Winter Orb, Infused Channeling, and Arcane Surge to further increase my damage by about 10% uh, by gaining infusion. So that actually worked out pretty decently well since Blights, for the most part, uh, the enemies don't directly go after you. So, so with that, that is the gear and the setup that I have. So going into path of building here, I do have some alternative options or ideas that I had. Um, so this is Ice Trap with, uh, with the added cold damage as well as Hatred. And I put on Hatred on here as well as the other stuff because of Warmonger. He uses on his build, Hatred, which I'll get into in a in a bit here, but um, since he uses Hatred with Generosity support, that adds a further increase to my damage. So some other options. Uh, with Warmonger, he uses Frost Sentinels, so I could use Elemental Weakness rather than Assassin's Mark that would technically reduce my DPS but it would increase his by a decent amount if I chose to do that. Some other things, um, inspiration support. Inspiration support would be really good for Ice Trap. Um, I would probably replace it with either added cold or power charge on critical support. And you're gonna have to find another way, another skill to gain inspiration charges from but if you can somehow fit it in, that will reduce your mana, it will give you 40% more elemental damage and an increased crit chance. Like right here, as you can see here, I don't actually have 100% crit chance, even with a diamond flask, but it's pretty close. So with inspiration, I could get even closer to that 100%. Um, one thought that I did have is using Winter Orb, Infused Channeling, Arcane Surge and Inspiration to get Inspiration Charges, but that is a 4 link and I just, with my setup, I don't, I just didn't have the, the, the sockets to fit that in. So that is an option if you can find a way to fit, fit it in. So looking at, uh, okay. So this is, I'm going to go over the Ascendancy first. So I'm, I, I originally was going to be an Elementist with the standard uh, Mastermind of Discord, Pendulum of Destruction, uh, Paragon of Calamity, and maybe Shaper of Desolation. But at the end, I chose to be an Occultist. Uh, Void Beacon not only helps me with minus the 20% cold resist, but it also helps Warmonger as well with his Frost Sentinels. And then I have Forbidden Power to give me plus one power charges, as well as gain power charges after spending 200 mana. That is really good because that allows me to gain power charges without actually being in combat, which is very good against bosses if I need it. And it also increases my air of effect and it gives me a tiny bit of extra damage per power charge, which is really good. Um, I have Profane Bloom, which honestly doesn't really benefit me at all but it leads to 
uh, male addiction, which gives me an additional curse, which is how I can get uh, two curses without using Whispers of Doom, as well as increasing the effect of curses, as well as increasing the damage that is dealt to them by uh, malediction as well. So, some key things that I went for. I went uh, pure damage going from the start. I did get the 25% uh, mana regen rate uh, from this one node, so there's that. And then go to Frostwalker, Annihilation, uh, this way to get uh, Blast Radius, Arcane Will, uh, arcane focus and I just barely was able to fit this in um, I have nearly 2300 mana so 2% spell damage per 100 mana up to 40% that gives me a decent amount of increased damage from that as well as increased mana so that's quite nice as well uh, throat seeker uh, sto uh, snow foraged and I go way over here because this is primarily where the trap stuff is um, and get Blast Cascade, uh, Doomcast, Written in Blood, and and stuff. Um, I would recommend getting a Expendus... Ex I can't talk. Uh, munitions, <laughs> let's go with that. Uh, to give you the Trap Trigger Air of Effect. Trap Trigger Air of Effect is very important because without it, your traps have to be, like, pin-perfect on your enemies. So... It, with my build, I have 100% increased Trap Trigger Air of Effect, and it seems to work decently well. And then Clever Construction, High Explosive, and uh, Devastating Devices. And then a few other nodes here and there. So, um, another thing is get all the Power Charge stuff. <laughs> so... And then uh, a natural column for, for just defense and, and, and whatnot. And then uh, Heart of Ice. So that is the skill tree in a nutshell. If you want to copy my skill tree, this is planned for a level 100. So do keep that in mind. Um, if you don't typically get to level 100, and I've never been to level 100 yet, <laughs> um you're going to have to sacrifice some skill points along the way and uh, and feel free to customize this any way that you want. Uh, for an example, if uh, if you want to fit in a Watcher's Eye, uh, maybe get rid of these two nodes here, or, you know, customize it the way you want. Um, I'm giving you the blueprint, just uh, just customize it the, the way you would like. And then... Um, for flasks, I have a diamond flask, jade flask, granite flask, and basalt flask, just to give me as much defense as I can realistically get uh, without without huge investment in uh, evasion or armor. Like, it gives me about, uh, what does it say here, 58% physical damage reduction and 45% of a chance. I mean, it helps, but in high tier maps, honestly, it, it doesn't feel like it helps enough to to make as big of a difference as I would like. <laughs> so there's that. Um, also with maximum frenzy charges I can get my trap throwing time down to uh, nearly four traps per second. So that is very significant. So with, uh, with playing with Warmonger theoretically I can get up to 1.7 million damage per trap and that is against Shaper and his guardians. So against Shaper, I have nearly two million damage per trap, and with all frenzy charges, I can throw a trap every 0.28 seconds. <laughs> so that is very good. And the air of effect is, um, as you probably saw in, in, in the intro, is very big as well. So that is the skill tree. So I, I just want to briefly mention, uh, with Warmonger on the line, um, the synergy between our two builds. So be back uh, once I get him on Skype here. All right, now with uh, with Warmonger here. Um, so how our builds seem to work together is that he uses uh, Frost Sentinels, and like I mentioned before, he uses the Hatred Aura to give me extra. And 
Also, another thing he has is that he uses Ball Lightning, so that can shock, as well as Elemental Equilibrium. So he basically makes it so that um, with our skills together, uh, pretty much any boss that we fight will have no resistance to uh, ice damage. And then that awesome air effect right there. Oh yeah. So uh, so let's uh, finish off Hydra. I need to I need to show off uh, having friendly charges. If I can get away with it. So while, while we're uh, running this, uh, a brief mention is that the cost of this build is probably going to be in between 7 or 8 exalts, uh, primarily for the 6 hand and the void, uh, void bringers. Void batteries. Void bringers. Of So now that I'm out of combat, so as you can see here, I throw traps very fast when I have all of my charges. How did you get killed? Uh, well, I accidentally activated the breach, so basically there's way too much crap. Yep. Um. Yes. Path of Exile in a nutshell. Um. Yeah, that was uh, unfortunate. I did not want to activate that. <laughs> yeah. So another brief mention is that how I benefit, um, how I benefit his build, is that I use Frost Bomb with the curses since he doesn't have any curses. So I lower the enemy enemy's cold resistance and my Void Beacon as well uh, lowers their cold resistance. Like I mentioned in the path of building, if I wanted to benefit him even more, I could sacrifice my own damage. To use um, elemental weakness instead, if I really wanted to. But at the same time, I want to increase my damage. So, <laughs> so uh, that's uh, that's it. So, um, like, like I mentioned before, I'll try to put a um, paste bin for path of building in the video description, and. And so, so you can use this build uh, however way you want. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, this is my very first build guide, so um, any feedback would be appreciated. So thank you very much for watching and have a wonderful day.